Put your low back to the bank and roll, turn on the channel, hold this young nigga off his crime, but he don't skate. Before the video starts, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe as well. Now, I remember a time not too long ago where the Boston Celtics had the brightest future in the NBA and was set to become a dynasty. They had a strong nucleus of young players including Tatum, Brown, Rozier, great role players in Marcus Smart and Morris, a veteran leader in Al Horford, and one of the NBA's ascending coaches in Brad Stevens. And this team went to the conference finals where they came one game short to LeBron who was having a historic postseason run. Oh, and I forgot to mention, they did this without their two All-Stars coming back from injury. On top of that, they had great draft picks in the future. All of this made us believe this team was destined to not only take down the Warriors, but start their own dynasty too. Now, a year later, Tatum didn't have the year we expected him to have, although still really good. Kyrie's walking out the door, the Celtics didn't get Anthony Davis, Al Horford walking out the door, Rozier said he would leave, although that's still on the table. It doesn't look like any big free agent signing to Boston this year and other teams in the East are rising while Boston is falling. Now Al Horford who I describe as the real veteran leader of this team and at times their most important player is seeking a new deal outside of Boston. He would decline his $30.1 million option and set to leave for a new franchise for a long term deal. Now Horford who is still 32 years old, 5 time all star and has always been a key player for those Atlanta Hawks teams and this Boston Celtics team. He believes there is a team out there with a $100 million contract or even multiple teams waiting to offer him a deal like that. As of right now, there's a lot of teams names thrown out there who can land Al Horford, but we really don't know his true value until we see a serious offer once free agency starts. But this is a serious loss for the Celtics and went from a team that looked like they'll be one of the favorites to come out the East each year to a team that has to start from their young guys again. In the comments, let me know what you guys think about this. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and I'll see you guys later.